Okay, so today we are going to do Stretch Out in Wait by The Smiths. Uh, this is one of the last songs I have, I think, to react to The Smiths. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to do it and uh, talk about it after. So let's get into it. All the lies that you make up What's at the back of your mind? Oh, your face I can see And it's desperately kind What's at the back of your mind? Two icy cold hands conducting the way It's the Eskimo blood in my veins And in concrete and clay and general decay Nature must still find a way So ignore all the colds of the day Let your juvenile impulses sway ASMR in there. Uh, I like the tambourine action action as well. Uh, I just wanted to say, but uh, yeah, and uh, stretch out and wait by the Smiths. Uh, so obviously, I guess I mean, I think I know what the song is about. But uh, yeah, I'll get into the about here. But I also want to say that uh, I liked Morrissey's voice here. I liked at the end, almost uh, near the end, he uh, kind of almost talked. I guess, and I don't know. I just like his voice anyway and uh it just sounded nice and uh also how he kind of stretched out some of his words and uh yeah, yeah i mean he can sing like a bird you know what i mean so yeah i mean i guess that's about it for that one so about on the song stretch out and stretch out and wait uh got darker uh it's <laughs> is a song about how everyone in the world nowadays in 1987 only think about getting laid, which basically Morrissey said uh, in the song, uh, and how far people will go to find someone to achieve this with. It seems everybody is desperate to have sex as soon as possible. Uh, the song appears on Louder Than Bombs and the World Won't Listen compilations, uh, with some slight changes in the lyrics. The version listed here is the earliest version. The one from The World Won't Listen... Uh, Okay, so yeah, it's from The World Won't Listen. Uh, the changes for the song on Louder Than Bombs are listed in the annotations. So, I guess we're getting some uh, different versions. I don't know what version this was. Uh, but anyway, I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, so quite the song here. Uh, so the first verse, uh, some annotations. All the lies that you make up, uh, what's at the back of your mind. Oh, your face I can see, and it's desperately kind. That's something, that's some words there. Desperately kind. Mm. Uh, but what's at the back of your mind? <laughs> uh, so we have P 
people lie and do all kinds of stuff in order to call attention to the opposite sex. Men open doors for girls to seem like a gentleman. Uh, they'll buy drinks even if they can't afford them, all in an effort to look kind. Sometimes their actions are performed out of drunk sincerity and not from a genuine effort to be kind. Uh, but what are they really after? Uh, yeah. Note in the other version of the song that appears in Louder Than Bums, uh, these lines are changed to, on the high-rise estate, what's at the back of your mind? On a three-day debate on a high-rise estate, what's at the back of your mind? Uh, okay, so yeah. <laughs> All right. So I guess this was the uh, uh, the other version of that, not the Louder Than Bombs one. Uh, so then we go on. Uh, so God, how sex implores you. So that's where Morrissey kind of, you know, uh, tells you like it is uh, to let yourself lose yourself uh, People do everything to get laid <laughs> and it looks like this is the only thing they care about Morsi had already stated that he's fed up with people only talking about how certain girls are hot on some girls are bigger than other uh, some girls are bigger than others uh, and Yeah, Morsi's talked about it before. I mean, he's not like yeah, he's not a person who's stretching out and waiting for uh sex basically i mean yeah you can take it or leave it uh so with the second verse uh as we lie you say will the world end in the night time i really don't know or will the world end in the daytime i really don't know these are important questions morrissey a james dean fan uh is making a reference to a line in rebel without a cause when plato uh played by sal minio asks james character do you think uh the end of the world will come at nighttime james responds mm -mm, at dawn Again, Morrissey pulling from uh, his inspirations. That's always cool to see. Uh, and then we go on. And is there any point in ever having children? Uh, that's a good question as well. Oh, I don't know. All I do know is we're here and it's now. And that's very true as well. <laughs> so then we have here, I think Morrissey's highlighting the, <clears throat> the inevitability, I can't talk right now, of death and the lack of purpose in life. Uh, so kind of nihilistic themes here as well. He ruminates, I like that word, he ruminates the significance of our possible actions. After concluding that life is meaningless, instead of adhering to suicide, he offers the choice to stretch out and wait because why not? <laughs> uh, and yeah, basically, uh, like I said, kind of a nihilistic thing. It's like, I'm not even going to kill myself just to get this over with. I'd rather just stretch out and wait because why the heck not? Uh, <laughs> and then we have the second course. And basically the ending of the song, the outro. So stretch out and wait, stretch out and wait. There is no debate, no debate, no debate. Uh, so he talks about uh, no debate here. Like in the other version, how he starts the song talking about uh, what the word debate at the start of the song. Uh, how can you consciously contemplate when there's no debate, no debate. Uh, stretch out and wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, so yeah, a short little song, less than three minutes. Uh, I do want to see... Uh, the personnel here, because I heard a tambourine, I thought, like I said, and uh, it does not say on uh, uh, Genius.com. Hold on. Okay, so I had I uh, had to look up on Wikipedia because I wanted to see who did it, who did the tambourine, and apparently it was Mike Joyce, uh, also the drummer, obviously, of the Smiths, and uh, yeah, so that's why I paused. I didn't want to. Uh, you know, search it up and all that stuff while the video was going. So anyway, yeah, shout out to Mike Joyce. I really enjoyed the tambourine. Uh, so yeah, uh, and like always, Morrissey on vocals, Johnny Meyer on guitar, and Andy Rourke, Andy Rourke on bass. So uh, yeah, basically that's all I gotta say. Uh, nice little song. Also, I have to say I like the kind of wind effects. Uh, kind of remind me of their song Asleep. And uh, I don't know, I just always like how they do that when there's like almost a uh, gush of winds in your ears or something like that. Again, kind of a little bit of ASMR going on here. But uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, really appreciate all of the support and for coming back on a Smith's Friday. So again, uh, thank you very much. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.